If you are new to Google Cloud, it can sometimes feel like there's a lot of information to absorb when trying to decide what to use because of the huge list of products available. So this is why we created a new and simplified page to help you get started quickly on Google Cloud in a handy five-part menu. Just head to cloud.google.com, then getting started. Let me give you a quick tour. For starters, we have three main essential buckets. The first is learning how to sign up for a free trial. The second is exploring how to try out different products via our quick start tutorials. And the third is once you are ready to get started with Google Cloud, you can review common developer use cases or an enterprise checklist. When you scroll down a bit more, for those who are looking for a macro level view of our entire suite of offerings, our amazing team has put together a helpful color-coded cheat sheet listing all our products and their functions in four words or less and their respective features that you can hover over. We also have documented guides that range from giving you a bird's eye overview of Google Cloud or compare cloud services with Azure and AWS, as well as review architecture references, diagrams, design patterns, and best practices for migrating your workloads to Google Cloud. Oh, and here is my favorite place. Stay in the know with developer news and community resources by checking out the Developer Center to join our dev community. And join the Google Cloud Innovators Program, where you can receive invitations to hear from Google Cloud executives and developer advocates like myself, see roadmap presentations, and a chance for an invitation to join our new series of innovator community events. It's kind of like that VIP club at Disneyland. The Dev Center features highlights like our new architecture diagramming tool, where you can build architecture diagrams, see reference architectures, and even do one-click deployments directly to Google Cloud. And now that we got a high-level overview, let me walk you through a couple of different examples. Let's take a look at some of the quick start tutorials. You can browse the catalog or search for a specific item to learn more whether it's on getting started topics like security, enabling APIs, using the command line interface SDK called gcloud, creating workflows, identity and logins, performing investigations, etc. There are also more advanced specific topics like databases, storage options, container VMs, private IPs, hosting of web apps or services, machine learning, and more. When you head to common developer use cases, we have a mix of useful videos and articles organized under a range of topics in a friendly interface. When you are ready to learn how to build on Google Cloud, we also have launched an improved documentation homepage so that you can more easily find guides, code samples, tutorials, and API references in addition to our architecture assets. And there you have it, a quick walkthrough of our new getting started resources. We hope that you check them out for now, this is Stephanie Wong.